Hello. Hello indeed, and welcome everyone to Odd World, Abe's Odyssey. I am the outlier, and I showed you that introduction uh, just to give you a sense of what it was like when I first saw this game. I mean, that introduction was incredible. That introduction was intense. Uh, I'm moving the cursor so it doesn't go to the uh, little in-between game previews of gameplay. Um, it was amazing. It was surreal. Now, uh, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey was released for the PlayStation 1 console and it was released back in 1997 so imagine i was maybe like 10 11 years old when this game first or when i first got this game and to see that opening and introduction to see this um to hear all these noises it was crazy it literally immersed me in another world let me just read the front and the back because i this is i'm actually playing this game uh, I don't have a PlayStation 1. I would be playing it on my PlayStation 2, but unfortunately I don't have a PS1 memory card, so I have to play it on my PlayStation 3. Um, but this is actually the disc version. So let me just read you, because I actually still have it, what it says on the front booklet and the back. On the front it says, no menus, no inventory bars, no scorekeeping, just infinite lives, victims to rescue, and inexplicably challenging gameplay. One, that was the front, this is the back. Once you were just a slave laborer in a horrid meat processing plant, now you're next on the menu. In a lush world of diabolical danger where everyone wants to eat you, you're the skinny guy with no weapons. Run, jump, hide, scramble, and talk your way past the ugliest bunch of carnivorous crustaceans ever created. Unlock Abe's special powers, then figure out your foes, and you might save your race. Don't, and your dinner. Enter Odd World Surreal, Sensory Overload, Pure Gaming, and uh, Sensory Overload of Pure Gaming, and claim your destiny, Savior or Salami. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. This was the beginning of like, um, uh, I don't want to say vector graphing, but. Uh, this was bringing the character a little bit further out of 2D World. It's not quite 2.5D, um, but it's darn near close, and it was awesome. It was awesome. I absolutely loved Abe's Odyssey. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I, I would say, honestly, like top three. Top three. Um, this is an action-adventure platformer. Um, you're not necessarily like it says you don't have a menu you don't have items it's just abe and abe struggled not only to survive but to rescue his people um i love what they did this was actually uh, a quintology and it says so in the booklet let me read the back booklet uh before we get started i know um odd world I, Abe's Odyssey is the first in a five-part game series from Oddworld Inhabitants called the Oddworld Quintology. Each game will reveal more about the strange and bizarre universe of Oddworld and its challenging inhabitants. In Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, you control Abe. Abe is a happy, sappy meat factory slave who learns his boss plan to turn him into lunch. It is up to you to help Abe save his skin and rescue his buddies from rupture farms. Future games of the Quintology will introduce new dilemmas, new villains, and most importantly, new and unlikely heroes like Abe. But be warned, the inhabitants all live on the odd world together, and as the story unfolds, characters you might overlook could prove really important in the big picture. Odd world is big, very big, and Abe's Odyssey is just the first glimpse in the strange and exciting depths of the odd. I mean, it absolutely excited me to no extent uh, to know that not only was this game a part of it, but there were five other games that were supposed to come out that were supposed to be like this. Um, and this is back before, you know, this is back before you could look at videos of people playing games. This was back before um, you could look up strategy guides that easily. I don't even know if Abe's Odyssey had a strategy guide when it first came out. I just bought the game based off of how the cover art looked. Um, 
what the front cover said because you couldn't even really like ask the people back then to take it out of the case and let you see it um and this was around the time that um Skull Monkeys and Boom Bots and all those other video games were coming out. So this kind of stuff was very big and I loved the aesthetic of the game initially. It was just one of my chair childhood memories. So let's go ahead and let's begin. Okay. And I'll talk more about why I love this game. And look, you could even have a two player in this game. That was completely unexpected. I didn't know that that was possible to have a two player helper and it would have helped out in some instances very much, but we're gonna be doing one player like I had done before. But oh, I'm so excited. Like look how beautiful this game is. Still to this day, this game is beautiful. But I'll let Abe do a little bit of the talking now. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave. Like all the others. me. My name is Abe. I was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. I crossed the meanest boss in the world. Mullet the Gluckin. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. We used to make meat munchies. Until the meaches were through. We still made paramite pies. And we made some good scrap cakes too. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew. How we'd make new and tasty, I was still to find. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared. Because profits okay. were grim. Paramites <laughs> and scrabs had been turning up thin. <laughs> but Mullet was cool. So, hey, he had a plan. <laughs> This new kind of meat? It was us! I just had to escape. I just had to be free. And I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here!
right? Right? Oh, that was awesome. But I love this game. I forgot I got to use the D-pad. I, I love this game because just looking at it right now, you can, it's so dank. It's so dark. It's so grainy. It's so gritty. And it gives you the proper atmosphere. The aesthetic of this game is absolutely beautiful and it's held up to this day. It gives you the proper atmosphere of a, a factory that's not within health regulations. It gives you the atmosphere of an oppressive place. It gives you the atmosphere of something that's aged, something that's rusted, you know, blood and all other kind of internal fluids, uh, oil, machinery oil, dust and dirt. You get the sense that this is not a good place. This is not a nice place to be. You know, you get the sense that, yeah, I want to help Abe get out of here. Because, you know, before he had his eyes open, this would be a horrible, horrifying place to work. Like, even in horror movies and horror games, when you look at things like the factory, like the warehouse, it looks like this. And, you know, it was just wonderful. It had that awe-inspiring feeling when I was a kid of almost taking my breath away because I was instantly immersed. Like, this is what it is. It told a fantastic story leading up to this point. But no, I was paying attention. You use R1 to run, he slides. And there's the directory, so we're gonna press it. Kabir. And it's like, Rupture Farms employees posted 99. So within Rupture Farms, there are 99 other Madawkins that you have to save. And it shows you like the different areas and it's all so cool. And you look and you're like, okay, that big one's probably me. So there are 28 employees here that I have to save. So one, two, three, and you can count and all this other kind of stuff. So the game had a very nice learning curve which was, it told you what you need to do, like, okay, I'm here, what do I do? Across it, it said to run. Over here, it says, okay, press up, and that's how I do it. Ow. 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 Right. So I don't need to pay attention to him. He was just something extra that, you know, it continued from where it was. Ow. So, you know, there are those, right? So it's like, all right. So you instantly have enemies and this game is showing you, hey, you know, the enemies are here and they can do stuff to you if you're not careful. And you come out here and just to show you, <laughs> the enemies can instantly kill you and it's it's close to Metal Gear where it's like this is a stealth operation type game where you've got to be on your P's and Q's and you've got to be paying attention to oops, you got to be on your P's and Q's and you got to be paying attention to everything that's going on in the game in order to survive what? What? um so, whew. you know, and you learn to take advantage of the two different planes of view. Like, look at that sign. No talking to Madawkins. It hammers home the fact that the Madawkins have their lips sewn shut. You know, and the Madawkins look like aliens that we know or aliens that we're familiar with. So you see, oh, there are these mines. Triangle to jump. Run and jump triangle. But, uh, so cool. And, oh, he's sleeping. What do I do? To sneak past? Sleeping slig. Hold R2 while you move. So cool. Now, I have heard of new and tasty. Yes, I heard that new and tasty was a thing. But just based off of, um... Everything that's been going on, um, 
I I'm not a fan of new and tasty. Um, it looks too bright. It looks too glittered. It looks too polished. Um, uh, and it, it, it's not what I had come to expect from an Abe's Odyssey or, oh, an Abe's Odyssey or Abe's Exodus game. Um, but I gotta play it. I'll reserve my judgments for when I play it. But to me, I like dank and greedy games like this. I fucked up. Yep. And that's what he'll do when he wakes up. Follow me. So. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> oh. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. The only thing I could do in this game was tell them to wait. Uh, in Abe's Exodus, that's the one I was thinking of where you could tell them to work. So... Use the ring, stand under it, and jump to pull up. Enough of me talking about the game. Let me actually get serious, get focused, and get into this game. Oh, man. Alright, so. Let's go down. I don't want to pull it because that'll kill him. And I want to save all my Madokin friends. Even though I... Hmm, I gotta figure out how to get rid of him. Let me see, can I take over him before he wakes up? portal down there, but man, how am I going to get past this guy? If I can just zoop. Let me see. Let me see. Said the blind man. Ow. Gimme. Ow. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And that's the cool thing about this game is that it rewarded you for exploring and trying new things. So, if you you there was a a menu area that said game speak, um, and it allows you to be Abe and use the the actual like learn the voice buttons. So if you paid attention, to that you can uh, take over Sligs by chanting. So. Here, boy. Hi. Ray, get him. Look out. <laughs> and that's his. Get him. Um, that's the Sligs game speak, and you'll find out what that is for later. So, hi, 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 here, boy. What? Wait. <laughs> Yeah, baby. 
so you can take over slaves to kill other slaves. But then you're like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The slave is here. What do I do about that? How do I get out? Chant back. Oh yeah. And you realize then that mm -hmm. Abe has a very, very powerful asset. So. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to sneak. We want to run. Hello. 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 Wait. Okay. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Follow me. Okay. So apparently, I can only rescue. I can only bring them to the thing one at a time. Which kind of stinks. Follow me. Okay. Bring you closer. Wait. All right, okay. I'll be back. Wait on me. I keep mistakenly using the um the uh, joystick. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Let's go. Yay! Super happy fun friend time. Super happy fun friend time. And we're here. And let's go down. And freedom. Whoop whoop. Yes. Yes. And that is, in a nutshell, what you have to do in the game. You have to dip, duck, dodge, pray, and save. And somebody is over here sleeping. I don't know who they are, but I am going to go ahead. I'm super excited about this playthrough. I have ranted all I wanted to at the beginning. Uh, I am unsure about new and tasty. Um, but I have to play it. The proof's in the pudding. It looks too bright and looks too shiny. It looks a little bit too commercial for my taste. I heard that people gave it good reviews, and I understand. I understand the people who made Oddworld, um, not GT Interactive, but like Oddworld Inhabitants, I think it is. They need money to continue. So they did the new and tasty, I think, Kickstarter, which did well. And if the game sells well, they're going to go to Abe's Exodus and make uh, a revamp of that we'll see um and then if that does well then they're going to continue with the quintology which i'm excited for uh do i know about munch's odyssey and um wrath of the whatever that other third game yes i do unfortunately after abe's exes it wasn't continued on the PlayStation systems. Uh, Munch's Odyssey went to 360, and that other one was on 360 as well. And it was like, man, you, you cut out your original fan base. I was loving it. I was waiting, and you cut us out. But, hey, they have to do what they have to do to survive as a company. I just hope that I get to see the rest of the story like this. This type of atmospheric thing is absolutely cool. So I'm going to shut up now because this episode is way too long. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like the video, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow and share the video with the world. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this game. Uh, uh, and yeah, what your thoughts are on new and tasty and revamping and reimagining company images and video games. Uh, I'm eager to hear it, and I will see you all in the next video.